Alright, Shalom Israel, giving all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem with Hakadash. Double honors to the elders of JMS from Rubel, Salutation Salutations to Yaki out there, pushing his word, truth and sincerity, risking your freedom and your life to do so. Alright, so I just wanted to bring this out. This is Huff Post. Pakistan passes historic transgender right, transgender rights bill. So, Pakistan just allowed trans, transgender rights in their in their country, which is historic because they were known to go against America's establishment and the ways of America, which, according to the scriptures, to be a homosexual is an abomination. So we're gonna get that. Come on. This is Leviticus 20 verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they should surely be put to death, their blood should be upon them. So that's just clearly showing you that to be homosexual is an abomination according to the to the eyes of the Heavenly Father. But um we're considered wicked for saying that. We're considered evil for saying that. But it's just the truth, you know. It's, it's anti-life, okay? It's a wicked act. So I'm going to read a little bit of this. This is, um, says, Pakistan passes historic transgender rights bill. It's not only unprecedented in Pakistan, Pakistani in history, but it's one of the most progressive laws in the whole world, which is folly because there's nothing progressive about a transgender, okay? So it says, Pakistan's parliament passed landmark legislation on Tuesday that gives its transgender population fundamental civil rights. The Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Act defines gender identity as a person's innermost and individual sense of self as male, female, or a blend of both or neither, okay? Which is, is, is straight confusing, okay? You have a man, you have a woman, you have children. Okay? That's it. This is no switching genes, no switching genetics, no changing your sex. That's 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 blasphemy, okay? The measure allows citizens to choose their ident their gender identity, which you can't choose. According to the scriptures, you are born where you are born. And to have it reflected on all official documents, including driver's license and passports. The legislation also outlaws all discrimination against transgender people in workplaces, schools, and healthcare settings, such as doctor's office. Now, this is Esau uh, Edom, so called white man, pushing his, his gay agenda, you see, to effeminize all men and turn them into this to destroy the nation. That's eventually what's gonna happen. If you leave a male lion and a male lion and don't give them any lioness, what's gonna happen? They're gonna eventually grow old and die. And they will be extinct. But according to Esau, it's okay to be this way, okay? So this is uh, Revelations, uh, Revelations 18 verse three. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of fornication. What is that wine of philosophies? Okay. And it's wine because it, it may seem like it's good and it feels good, but eventually it turns into wrath and it's self fornication. Meaning a wicked, filthy thing. And the kings of the earth had commanded fornication with her. Right. The fornication is learning her ways. Okay. Getting all into her society because America promotes none but death and wickedness. Okay. According to the Bible. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacies, right? Now, nations became rich off of the abundance of America's delicacies, okay? But the main point I wanted is they drunk of the wine of the wrath for her fornication. That's why it's a historic trans trans transgender rights bill that Pakistan had passed, okay? Because they drunk of America's wine. After America came in and slaughtered most of their people, raped them, they passed this bill 
which allowed Pakistani uh, the right to uh, transgenders, okay? This is, uh, and showing you what's gonna happen to those that are taking this ungodliness. Second Peter 2, um, verse, Six and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Now Sodom and Gomorrah was two cities next to the Dead Sea by ancient Israel, uh, known for sodomy, which is uh, anal sex or type of filthy acts, which is like man sleeping with dog, woman sleeping with uh, animal, uh, pedophilia, pedophilia, homosexuality, transgender. That's all that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. So it says, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that shall afterwards live ungodly. This is what ancient Sodom and Gomorrah did. And what the Lord do? Rain fire from heaven. But now the whole world is engulfed with this, with this spirit of anti-Messiah, uh, anti-life. Okay, anti-man, but pro-homosexuality, pro-abortions, okay? This is what the whole world has engulfed itself into, that wine, for all nations have drunk of the wine, okay? So, jumping back, and deliver just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked. Right, Lot was inside of Mingamore, and he was vexed daily for what the ungodly was doing. Okay, verse 8, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vests his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. This is unlawful, man. Being a transgender is unlawful, according to the Bible. As it is written, if a man lie, man also lie with mankind as he lied with a woman, meaning commit a homosexual act. Both of them have committed an abomination. They should show you put to death. That's what's supposed to happen to these people. But they don't want to carry out that judgment. So you know what? The Heavenly Father is going to carry out that judgment. How? By doing what he did to ancient Sodom and Gomorrah, to all lands that partake in his wickedness. Right. So I'm going to go back to, uh, this is uh, Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies so lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Right, because America is spiritually called, is the great city, which is spiritually, I mean, it's not the physical place, but it's a new revived spirit of a place of the ancient Sodom and ancient Egypt. Like I said, Sodom was known for all its wicked sex and fornication acts. And Egypt was known for having Israel and slavery. Israel, it's Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So I said, we're also, our Lord was crucified, meaning he was X'd out. The image of the Lord, okay? Completely X'd out. And put himself up to be a white boy. But really, his name is Yahweh Shah. He was a so-called black man. A white woolly beard and white woolly afro, okay? But the main point is to place his spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Okay, this is Jude, verse 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them, in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, transgenderism, and going out the strange flesh, man trying to sleep with man, anal sex, uh, humans with beasts, Okay, that's strange flesh. Are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So they got blown to hell. <laughs> Most high rain fire from heaven and burnt their eyes up for these deeds, for these things that these people are doing. Okay. So it says, um, the bill separates transgender people into three categories intersex, known in Pakistan as Kusa eunuchs, who are assigned male at birth, but undergo genital castration, cut their rod off, and transgender men or women. In Pakistan, transgender people are often referred to as Khawaja Sarah, 
define the legislation as any person whose gender identity and slash or gender expression differs from the social norms and cultural expectations based on the sex they were assigned at the time of their birth, right? Because the most I made you a man or the most I made you a woman, you're not supposed to go against that. But of course it's out of societal norm. And because it ain't supposed to be. It's a transgender people constitute one of the most marginalized community in the country and they face problems ranging from social exclusion to discrimination, which is supposed to be. Because it ain't supposed to partake in that act. It says lack of education facilities, unemployment, lack of medical facilities, and so on. The legislation does not include protection for gay, lesbian, or bisexual citizens. I heard about this yesterday morning, and I was in a state of shock because I never thought something like this could happen within my own life in Pakistan. My lab, Jamil, an activist from Lahore, uh, who helped write the bill, told NPR, this kind of development is not only unprecedented in Pakistani history, but it's one of the most progressive laws in the world. It's not progressive, okay? What is the definition of progressive means? What does it mean? Progressive. Let's look it up. Happening or developing gradually or in state, proceeding step by step. Okay, so they, they mean to, to continue, this is synonyms, continuing, continuous, increasing, growing, growing, right? And that's why scriptures say wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole world. But really, this act is destructive. Let's get that definition. Destructive, causing great and irreparable harm or damage, devastating, ruinous, disastrous, catastrophic, calamitous, okay? Hurtful, wounding, injurious, damaging, harmful. That act, what Pakistan approved, is harmful, man. This is a dangerous lifestyle because the Most High is going to visit you for it, according to the scriptures. It says, um, Pakistan's population of of 207 million includes a little over 10,000 transgender people according to a 2017 census. Trans Action Pakistan reports that the trans community is often subjected to extreme violence, which it should be, including sexual assault, rape, torture, no, that's off. Rape is off. Sexual assault is off. You're supposed to kill them. According to scripture. Torture and execution, which is the righteous thing to do according to the eyes of the Heavenly Father. Execution. Trans people are off, often forced to resort to sex work or begging in order to survive. But they ain't supposed to be in that lifestyle, you know? As M. Nisti, international Pakistan researcher, Rabia Mahmood told Al Jazeera, Pat passage of the bill shows prog progress by executing it will be the key. This bill makes Pakistan one of the few countries in the world to recognize the self perceived gender identity of transgender individuals. Mahmoud said, the country's transgender community has very high hopes from this bill. Its imp implementation is therefore crucial to ensure that ensure they can live their lives with dignity and respect. Well, we know one thing. Once you start implementing this act, we know for a fact that the Most High is going to destroy you. So that's just a little update, Israel, um, to how to these, these other nations are conducting themselves. They drunk of the wine of the wrath of America's fornication. Okay, and they're going to be destroyed from it. So, with that, I'm going to give all praise to you. I will watch you out. Shout out to the elders, the gymnasts. Salutations to you. I'll get them out there pushing this world. Shalom.